Hello, it's Justin from The Tech Train here. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom autocorrect entries in Google Docs. For example, let's say that you're typing the word word processing out quite a lot. Well, instead of typing the word word processing every time, you could create a custom autocorrect entry in Google Docs so that instead you type the letters WP and it types the word word processing for you automatically. So let's see how this is done. If you find that there are often words that you have to keep on typing and they're either quite long, uh, such as word processing, uh, or perhaps because you just cannot spell the word yourself, um, you can set up Google Docs to replace uh, words that you enter or letters that you enter like WP um, with whatever the word is that you're wanting to type. It can save you a lot of time. For example, we could type out uh, word processing is the best solution. And let's say that you're a student wanting to increase your word count. Well, you could always use the best business cliches and reverse them, taking the word ultimately and turning it into the cliched business phrase we have here. So this is autocorrect in Microsoft Word. Uh, you may very well be aware of this already. I've done a video that shows how to do it in Word. So how do we do it in Google Docs? Well, what you'll need to do is to head up to the Tools menu and go down to Preferences. Preferences is where the majority of the autocorrect options uh, are. Um, we can see we've got things like smart quotes. Again, I've done a video on that in Word. Um, and uh, you can see otherwise things like links, for example, hyperlinks. It will turn those into clickable hyperlinks. You can remove that option by removing that tick there. But basically, if you wanted, for example, um, to replace the word spreadsheet, so you kept on having to type the word spreadsheet out. Let's type that in there, spreadsheet. Um, and instead of that, what should we type? Well, let's type um, SPR or SPT. There we are. Try and make sure it's a combination of letters that you won't find within another word. Obviously, the letters SP by themselves will be in a number of words, and it'll just simply replace those two letters. So instead of spreadsheet, let's have SPT. Uh, we might also change uh, Google Docs. So let's say I'm typing the word Google Docs several times. Well, I can simply replace that with letters GD. So let's try those out there. So I might now type the word SPT. There's the word spreadsheet. And let's type in Google Docs. There we are, Google Docs. So you'll see that it's able to uh, very quickly replace uh, not just a, a couple of letters or a word with the full word, but as I demonstrated um, tongue in cheek at the beginning there, um, you can take uh, one word and have Google Docs expand that into a whole phrase. Quite why you'd want to, I'm not sure, but it shows that there's basically no real limit in terms of what you enter into the autocorrect uh, column. So I hope that was useful to you. I hope that uh, saves you a little bit of time and a little bit of hassle, especially with those uh, difficult to spell words that we come across from time to time. If you did find this useful, please do give this video a quick thumbs up. That would really be appreciated. It helps a lot. And of course, also don't forget to subscribe. I do regular videos on Google Docs and Google Apps in general, as well as Microsoft Office. So subscribe before you go, that would be terrific. Any questions you've got or suggestions for other things that you want to have answered, please leave them in the comments section below. I do read all comments and I do try to reply to as many as I possibly can. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Bye for now.